Hello, and welcome back to Tesla Grad. Last time we had just run into this room, and I'm not entirely sure how it works. It looks like this button here just switches these. So, blue will send me up. No? Okay. Not quite. Uh, something like that, though, it has to be. In this case, red will send me. Blue will send me up. Okay. Um. So wait, I just want to stay in uh, blue mode because blue sends me up in red and blue. That's good to know. So I only have to press one button, <laughs> and I can just jump off the side. That's a great way to start. Hello, and welcome to me dying in Tesla Grad. Oh, wait, I can teleport. Right. It's been a while since I've played. Uh, I really ought to record more in batches. Nope. But I do, because I'm a fool. If I did, I might remember something like this. And I feel like maybe I could eventually actually pull off this puzzle. Oh, yeah. There it is. And then I can just light it up. Cool. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm further than I was, and I'm only a minute in, so that's progress. Um. Hmm. Wow, that was lucky. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, boom. Alright, so now he should charge that, and because there's a blue block over there already, yeah, he's gonna get pushed right into that button. And... Oh, I ran into the wall. That's not fun. Now I have to do it again. Hooray. Come on, boom. I really ought to remember which direction is which color. That's far too much effort to invest in, you know, just my main hobby. That would be silly. Come on, boom. There we go. I'm gonna charge that, and the button turns the uh, thing off. Great. Now, we can do this. Except that, you know, you can't. Come on. Why is this not working out? It should. It definitely should. I okay, go straight up. Uh, more like that. There we go. Is this a thing? No. It looked like a thing. That might be a thing. If it is, it's a thing I have to... Oh, come on. I have to use an item I don't have to, uh, okay, get through. Alright. Oh, wow. Alright, this is where I am. You recognize him? He's got a beard. Oh, I forgot to jump. I should have jumped. Alright, trying that again. Hello! Gotta press buttons. Now you'll notice, because those are red, 
and I'm charged red. Uh, they move away from me. Can still run into them, like I just so cleverly did, but they will move away from me. So right now, at least, I want to stay charged in red. Ah, they are hard to dodge, goddamn. So what's happening as I'm pressing these buttons is the middle button enables both the side buttons. And then the side buttons actually open up the doors and then I want to hit him with those charges. So he'll come back here. Oh. Figured out my problem. So now he's got uh, blue charges, but also those red, uh, whatever they're called, blood bots, I guess is the name for them. And those red, red, uh, blah, 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 words, the blood bots take priority over your coat. So if I run into those, I'll automatically be charged red for whoops, for a certain period of time. Which is really bad because red attracts blue. Oh jeez. Oh, that was... Come on. Oh, gee, all right. I was doing well. I think it's only three hits for him. Better only be three hits. Because that gets hard at the end. When he's using both of the different colors. That's not fun, yo. Wow, alright. Almost died right there. That was luck. Almost entirely. Come on, old man. You can't catch me. Now, part of the trick to this is you want to be as close as possible to that top button when he picks up the gun. Because that way, uh, you can just do it really fast. And, and basically, he doesn't have enough time to hurt you. So if I come down here, he'll turn around. And I want to see him coming. Now he's got it. And this is interesting. Kind of a risk. So now I just kind of got to wait here until he sends one my way that I can turn around. But I've got to be careful not to attract the blue ones. Alright, I got it. And it was only three. Excellent! So we can't go this way, we might as well follow him down. And see what we find. Exposition, what's that? Thunder and lightning, very, very frightening. Uh, burn the electric witches. Man, that's a bad name and a half. So I guess this is the story of Bearded Guy, who we just ran into. He's been tasked with burning out the electric witches. Whose tower we happen to be in. How inconvenient. And if you remember those skeletons at the beginning, I think he was fairly successful. Chop. Yeah, that'll do it. That generally does, uh, sort of get things done. Hit it with the sword. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately not much resistance was really put up in the, uh... I just like saying burn electric witches now. Okay, so he's the leader of the blue faction. They're meeting again. Oh, gosh. Well, that's not good. And now he looks really fucking evil. Okay. But wait a minute, I thought I saw... There's the guy! You see him? On the right there? That's great. He is watching me. 
I guess uh, he didn't know that I didn't know, maybe? Like, I'm using all their junk, right? So it's kind of reasonable to assume that I'm intentionally allied with the people he's been fighting. Let's check our map. Where am I? Okay, so we want to go a little further up. Because this door leads to where we were. Which isn't where we want to be. We want to go where the doors... Uh, what? Where the doors? Where we haven't been. That's how words work. Oh, alright. We can ride a thing. Down. This is pretty cool. Uh, kind of weird, but pretty cool. Let's see how much momentum I can maintain. Because these are like a jump and a half. Yeah, alright. I'm doing really well. I think the first time I did this puzzle, it took me like a half hour at least. And I just did that first try. That makes me feel really good, actually. Because it is not easy. Alright. Yeah, I'm just like, whoops, there we go. I'm just cruising through these. Nice. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I actually want to... There we go. Puzzles. Okay. What's happening here? Alright. Hmm. I don't think the, uh... Lightning will break the... What, what we're riding in. I don't know what to call that. Because we've only got the one. But it is danger to me. And up we go. And up, there we go, up we go. Oh, alright, wrong button, but it worked out. Ooh. Huh. Painting of the uh, tower's construction. And some cans of soup, maybe? Food. Some cans of fork knife and plate. How delicious. Uh, Alright. Nice long room. If we look at the map, we've actually gone up really far. So that's what I was talking about. That's like a long way, and there is so much room to screw up, and it's so hard to recover when you do. I'm really glad I did that quickly. I can turn that blue. I can turn that red. And move towards each other. And then I can turn it blue. Oh, I'm gonna move apart. That is the premise of this room, it looks like. We've gotta swing those using our magnet powers. Oh, come on. Nice music. Very serene. What the hell was that? No, that's not right. It's looking like it probably won't get through this room this time. But that's fine. So we want to swing these together. That part. We want to swing these together. That part. And it looks like I want to use that to float up. Yeah, apparently I do. Alright, so that does it for this episode, because we're about to hit 15 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time on Tesla Grab, when I finally get through this room. <laughs>